are the new actions that we've created which we can now move along to make them occur when we like. Now the action strip it's um, passed through so it's they, they're done from top to bottom. That, that, that can be significant. The order of the actions can be significant. You'll find a lot of that out by experimentation when you come to do it. Now just by zooming in on the uh, NLA editor I can see that the um, uh, we've got it ending sort of in the 50s at the end of 53 so we can see without doing anything else at the moment he walks forward he looks left he rises up now that's working but it's a little bit jerky although the, the playback screen capture here is jerky as well which doesn't make it uh, <coughs> particularly easy to do because I'm screen capturing but I want to show you some other features of the uh, NLA editor some which we've already looked at some of them you press the end to get the transform properties dialog up and you've got this blending options blend in and blend out um, and uh, if you put a few frames on there you'll notice you get a little diamond effect on the end of the uh, action strips so I'm just going to randomly stick for not randomly but stick in some blending and blend out to these action strips and quite a few six six frames of blending and blend out on the rise up because that's quite a broad um, quite a bold uh, animation and now uh, well, it won't necessarily at the moment be entirely obvious to you but Believe me, it does the blend in and blend out makes a difference because then you get a more subtle change between from one animation to another. A lot of this requires a lot of experimentation and getting to know uh, the way things work. Now we've got our camera set up there, which um, we can just select the camera to have a look at what the camera view is going to be like. That's the that's there so that we can now use in remember we set up our shape keys what we can do now is we can we've got our basic little animation going and he walks along or potentially wriggles along looks to the left and rises up but now we can also put in shape keys so we're bringing it all together so you have a lot more animation going on instead the other thing that I haven't done yet but you can also we've talked about it when we're building it but of course you can animate the rotation of the eye as well remember we've got the um, uh, we've got the uh, left eye or sorry the right eye um, which we can rotate and the other eye follows it so what we're doing now is you've done before in the other tutorial we just basically um, set up these uh, shape keys I'm going to do an eye blink at this point so Set a, set a shape key at zero, sort of 15 frames along or whatever. Advance three frames, close the eyes fully, advance another two or three frames, open the eyes fully, and uh, once you do that, you've got a, a blink in place. Go further along through the animation and get another blink in place. Let's have a little look at that. There we go, he's animates through, rises up, yeehaw. You're probably getting to, to get an idea now of how um, once you've got a well set up character, you can make lots of animations with it. I'm just going to give him a bit of a more interesting expression. make the antlers, uh, antenna rather, not antlers, antenna start to move. Once you get used to this and you combine it as I say with uh, shape keys used for the for the mouth you can do lip syncing. Um, I've not covered that here, but once you've done this with shape keys, moving on to find out how to do lip sync is not too difficult because uh, basically everything you've done to do with shape keys, you can use the same methods 
with um, to make the mouth shapes. Just going to put the uh, extend the animation up to uh, around 100, and then have a look at how the animation looks. Remember it's Alt A to preview the animation in whatever window you've got the mouse over, but you knew that. I'm just going to carry on uh, adding in little bits of animation, little bits of tweak. And just watch this but the best thing for you to do is actually just go and get your own models start making your animations I'm sure you've got some great ideas now if you follow through all of these tutorials you'll have a really good understanding of blender and um, keep looking on the blender websites go into the forums uh, ask questions there I'll often be on there as well um, and also obviously contact me by email if you've got any particular questions or anything's not clear on these tutorials I like the feedback because if I can improve it I will and if I make any major changes and you've suggested something that's made a, a big difference you'll get a, an updated copy sent out as well. Now we're just going to look at this uh, quick preview of this animation to see how it looks and we'll also maybe render a couple of frames to see how he's going to look in the scene. But you can make your own animation now, I'm sure you will if you haven't already.